Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no. unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart with the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Sunbury, Pennsylvania, USA Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my favorite. Alright, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, connects with the one-two. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Superman punch. Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, look at him land another 
jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Can't take many of those, you better check. All right, good job by it there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Spinning back fist. Three minutes remain in the round. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Not there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just missed with that right hand. Beautiful strike. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Nice leg kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Over and over, he's landing this big body kick. Blocks the strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Clean left punch followed by the right. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, single collar tie here. 15 seconds remain in the round. Nice kick. Final seconds here in round one. Joy gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, nice punch there by Shore. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Choi shot is blocked. That was a thudding leg kick. Right under the elbow by the plants. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Single collar tie now. And this dude's cash and chips. Oh! Nice hook lands. Lance with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shin guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice punch, man. Got the single collar tie. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice head kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also been very busy. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, getting his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Great punch. Korean Superboy got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. Big kick land. Ooh. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. How good is that right hand? Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Ooh, what a head kick. Nice. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion as which he moves. All right, single collar tie now. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. What a punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice straight right lands. Flush right hand is true. Just out of range with that left hook. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques 
but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Out of range with that one. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. A oh, little single collar tie there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Just unable to quite find that range. Back and forth we go. Slips that left hand. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, collar tie. In the tie clinch. Look for the knees to start. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, blocks the shot. Connects with a right. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Joy gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet, despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. Nice strike. Oh! Huge right hand! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big leg kick lands. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice loop and punch. So unable to connect on the upper punch. Oh, he's got him up here. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, he might be out. Just a slip there. Oh! Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. That was a jab. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice kick. Straight right, but he misses. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Right, just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Oh, nice jab by the Korean Super Bowl. 
Spinning catfish is there. Ten seconds to go. Just misses there with the left. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, high level stuff there as he blocks the strike and counters with a jab. Oh, that's a nice strike. He lands a big elbow there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really... Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Won't finish this fight. Straight punch lands. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh! He's out! Goodness, what a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. inside the octagon bruce buffer has your official decision ladies and gentlemen referee herb dean is going to stop for this contest at one minute 21 seconds of round number four declaring the winner by knockout the korean super Bowl, do her try all right so there he is the man of the moment celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career and Got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.